Hi, I'm Phil Kearns, former captain of the Wallabies. We're about to go back in time and revisit a Wallabies test at Allianz Stadium that I'll certainly remember for the rest of my life, even if everyone else only remembers it for one moment. In one corner were the world champion Wallabies, the pride of Australian sport. In the other, the fearsome All Blacks, regarded by so many as the best rugby side on the planet. It was a one-off test to determine ownership of the Bledisloe Cup in 1994. And as you'd expect, Allianz Stadium was bursting at the seams as Wallabies captain Phil Kearns led his men into battle. Phil Kearns, who today equals the record for most tests by an Aussie hooker. When you're the world champions, everyone wants to beat you. And, and so every test match we were going into, we, we knew we were the prime targets. Obviously, the, the All Blacks were pretty filthy that we'd beaten them in the World Cup semi-final. You know, it was three years before. And it's the heavyweight championship of the rugby world. The green and gold of Australia. The All Black of New Zealand. The Bledisloe Cup at stake. And the first test is for Shane Howard. And it's a try! soon became apparent that this would be an evening to remember as Jason Little produced this wonderful leap to give Australia the perfect start, a try after just 19 seconds. Bob Dwight is stunned by that beginning. The ever reliable left boot of David Knox kept things bubbling along nicely for Bob Dwyer's men. A quarter of the game gone 10 to 3. The Wallabies opening try may have been spectacular, however the follow-up from Phil Kearns was just sheer determination and power. Kearns! The Australian captain! I knew the line wasn't far away and I had Ewan McKenzie in front of me and he was a good barrier and just we just drove forward and away we went. New Zealand really on the back foot at that point and the more you know the opposition side is down, the more it lifts you. Resuming with an 11-point half-time deficit, the All Blacks responded just as you'd expect from such a proud rugby nation. Wilson looking good! But Howard gets it! When All Blacks lock Ian Jones was offside from a line-out right under the nose of referee Ed Morrison, Kearns had no hesitation in pointing to the posts. And Knox gave Australia some badly needed breathing space. The All Blacks now have to score a try to take the Bledisloe Cup home. The men in goal were clinging to a four-point advantage and under attack from every angle, as New Zealand did everything they could to conjure up a late match winner. You can feel the vibe and the ebbs and the flows of the game, and they were starting to get on top. They were starting to create some space, and they were starting to, to get some gaps and some offloads, so you know that you've just got to hang in there and try and make some dominant tackles and be dominant defensively. But deep down, you know, oh, look out, here they come. What pressure! Then came the moment that would go down in rugby folklore. Howarth! And Wilson! Oh, that is a save by Quigan as Wilson went for the match-winning try. Little George Quigan knocked it out of his hands. He was absolutely 100% guaranteed to score. It was just amazing that, that George was able to get there to start with, but to make such an effective tackle and knock that ball free was another freak of nature. What a moment in time that was. The new young star of Australian rugby stopped him. One incredible play was the difference between winning and losing the Bledisloe Cup. Another example of the fine line between triumph and despair. What a game! The Wallabies had survived to win 20 to 16 and rugby had a highlight for the ages. It's certainly gone down in folklore in Australian rugby and it is one of those, those great moments. You know, there are some really special moments and George's is one of those. Forevermore George Gregan, number nine, will be a hero in Australian rugby. They don't call it the Kearns try game, do they? It tends to be called the Gregan tackle game. But in our household, I make the family call it the Kearns try game.